Hey guys, this is Neo once again from the Overshocker magazine and today I'm here to talk to you about another budget product and of course that's the A-Data Legend 960 Max 1TB SSD. So the thing is about this SSD or at least what I thought made it special is that it actually costs only 500 Rand more than the previous A-Data SSD that I reviewed which is the Legend 751TB drive whose review you can actually check out on the website. So for 500 Rand more than that drive and that drive was 1250 this one is 1750 you actually get a drive that performs significantly better i mean that one was a gen 3 drive this one is a gen 4 x4 drive and for 1750 i don't think you can actually do much better in south africa i'm not sure about everywhere else in the world but right here this is one of the cheapest drives, but the most high or one of the most high performance drives that you can get locally anyway so let's talk about specs what is it that makes this drive rather special or rather something that you may want to consider well on paper it's supposed to be able to read at up to 7.4 gigabytes a second and write at 6 gigabytes a second but in terms of specification so this one uses a silicon motion sm2264f controller it uses micron 3d tlc nand it has one gigabyte of ddr4 memory it uses slc caching and of course comes with a five-year warranty but the biggest difference between this drive of course outside of performance is that this one has a much beefier heat sink so i'm talking about a heat sink that's a good five to six times thicker than the one that you actually get on the legend 750 drive and of course the highlight feature about this drive as well is actually ps5 compatibility so on the ps5 it's able to give you performance or at least in read speeds of up to 6400 megabytes per second and this is something that's quite important to a data as well because they even have a video which you should be seeing right now on their own channel that teaches you or rather shows you how to install the drive in the ps5 and so forth so overall this is a very versatile drive for the price and i think if you're looking for an upgrade for your ps5 or your pc and you want some seriously good performance but obviously you don't want to pay a fortune for that this is probably the drive that you should consider so now that i've told you about the basics of the drive i think we should move on to the benchmark so you can see for yourself how it's performing and you'll be able to tell if this is worthwhile for you or it's not and just for reference sake the drive that i'm comparing the legend 960 max 2 are the corsair mp600 core xt and the legend 750 one terabyte drive as well i think in terms of value for money this drive is really hard to beat and you should be able to see that in the performance but without further delay and waffle from my side i think we should get onto the benchmarks so let's get at it first up is as ssd and here we can see that out of the three drives the legend 960 max has the highest score I expected it to be a lot higher than what the Corsair drive could produce, but it's only 900 points. But nonetheless, it is scoring significantly better than the 751 terabyte drive, which offers less than half the performance by all measure. Next up is Anvil Storage Utilities Benchmark. And here, once again, the Legend 960 Max gets to the top spot, narrowly edging out the Corsair MP600 Core XT by 2000 points. The Legend 750 drive is once again at the bottom, offering just over half the score. Given that the 750 is only 500 Rand cheaper, value for money favors the 960 Max here against its stablemate. Crystal Disk Mark is the next benchmark I use to measure the raw sequential performance. True to what the box claims, we see reads at just over 7 GB a second and writes that are slightly higher than claimed at 6.4, nearly 6.5 GB a second. These figures are literally twice what the 750 can offer. But again, they are really useful in everyday situations, but they are the most relatable numbers to end users. Hence, vendors put them on the box, of course. Next up is read and write IOs as measured by Anvil once again. Here we see the MP Core 600 XT outclass the 960 Max, which is literally surprising. The 4K QD 16 write performance of the 960 is impressive. But at just over 700,000 IOs, it's outdone by the 771,000 resolved by the MP600 core. Where the 960 has an advantage is in the read IO throughput. Here is where it's fastest, followed by the Legend 750 and lastly the MP600 core. 3D Mark Storage Benchmark has a series of tests that show the 960 Legend is of a different class than the other two drives, offering twice the score of the 750 and a 40% advantage over the MP600 core XT. The average write speed is also revealing here, where only the 960 Max is capable of transfer speeds greater than that of the older SATA interface SSDs and is capable of average write speeds of over 700 megabytes a second. 
Add to this benchmark is where some of the shortcomings of the Legend 960 Max are revealed. In the 16K QT4 result, the 960 Max is beaten thoroughly by the MP Core 600 XT. In fact, its read performance is even lower than that of the Legend 750. Not sure why that is the case, but of course it is a disappointing showing by the 960 Max. In the 4K QT4 result, the 960 Max comes in dead last. Not because of the right performance, but because of the read results, which are nearly half of the MP600 core and 40% slower than that of the Legend 750. This is certainly the most poorest showing of the 960 Max in the entire test suite. We finally get to the Windows folder copy. Here I simply moved the 142GB folder with almost 700 files in it from a Gen 3 X4 source to each of the drives. The 960 Max here was the fastest, completing the task in 3 minutes and 15 seconds at an average of 728MB a second. Both the MP600 Core XT and the Legend 750 are rather disappointing, with average transfer rates lower than that you'd get from a high-end SATA SSD. And there you have it. So that's it from me about the 8 Data Legend 960 Max 1TB SSD. Again, if you're looking for a drive to upgrade your PS5 or your PC, whether entry-level PC or mid-range or even high-end, I think this is a drive that you should consider. Yes, once again, it didn't win every single benchmark and it does have some situations where it's slower than I would have liked it to be. But I'm telling you, those are corner cases and I'm not one person who's always going to be filling up the drive consistently. And I doubt if many of you are as well. So if you are in the market and looking for a drive, gives this one some serious consideration. Can you get a faster drive from A Data? Of course you can. But can you get a worse drive as well from any other competitor, including A Data itself? yes yes you can and at 1750 it's really hard to beat this one so let me know what you guys think of this drive what ssd do you think is the one that is the closest competitor to this one you would rather have or if this one let me know in the comments below and until next time remember to share like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the flip side so take care of yourselves and peace